This week, I'm up at Dinner Plain to learn to sled with the Howling Huskies. You're probably wondering, where's my usual selfie intro? Well, for the first time in 19 adventures, we had a technical malfunction. And although I did shoot a selfie intro, for some reason, the GoPro didn't record the audio. So anyway, let me introduce you to the pack, starting with the pack leader, Jake, who can introduce his dogs. Our dogs here that we have um, are basically in order from our lead dogs going back to our wheel dogs. Lead dogs are the brains of the team up the front, wheel dogs down the bottom, they're the muscle of the team for us. Now up the front here, we've got Aurora having a drink there. And uh, next to her making all the noise, we've got Blue. So Blue is our red Australian Kelpie. And then next to him, we've got our little cattle dog, Fern um, and Heath. And then we have Aria and Paula. And down the back there, we've got Indy and Rogue, the big ones down the back. It's hard to describe just how beautiful these Huskies are, and they're all itching to run. So it's time to get their harnesses on and hooked up to the sled. And the handbrake. That's it. <laughs> One thing that most people know about Huskies is they love to run. They love to run that much that if you let them go, they don't like to come back. So we don't let them go. We pull our collar through and hook them back up. And then we go, can I have this one, buddy? And can I have this one? That's it. Our two legs He's ready to go. Hey, one more. Now hop These guys just want to go. They're super excited. You can see Jess holding them at the front. Being so early in the snow season meant we couldn't just take off from the yards. We first had to manoeuvre the sleds into a better position for a nice long run. Easy. And then we were set. We're kind of limited by the trails we could slide on, but it was quite remarkable how agile the pack was and how well they would respond to Jake's calls navigating the tight track. Huskies have been used as sled dogs for thousands of years by the indigenous people in the Arctic regions. Their ability to run long distances, pulling heavy loads in extreme conditions is legendary. He's doing a couple of hot laps around uh, dinner plate. <laughs> but what makes Jake's pack so special is that they're all rescue dogs. Dogs that for whatever reason ended up without a home, but are right at home pulling a sled in the snow. <laughs> And when you look into their eyes, it's easy to see why he fell in love with them. It's really common for Huskies. We can have two brown, two blue eyes. Um, we can get uh, party coloured eyes, we would call, where they've got actually two colours in the one eye, or bi eyes, where they've got one of each colour in there. It's just a common thing in them. But his favourite dog isn't a Husky at all. Hey Fern, get up. <laughs> hey. This is my little girl here. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Now Fern here, I got, uh, and she was meant to help me work on the farm, herding sheep, herding goats, cattle. She wasn't actually meant to be a sled dog. We actually had her in the shop and she started trashing the shop. She broke one of our computers, dived through the window, would bust through the door and chase me down the trail all the time. And I got sick of it one day, so I hooked her up into the team and she's actually turned into one of the best sled dogs we have. <laughs> His dogs must be good because he's about to let me have a go. What do I need to know? <laughs> On the back here we've got uh, our foot pads, these rubber grippy bits. So that's where we stand. But what we do is one foot on here to balance with, one foot on the brake here at all times. So you just what we call feather in the brake, keeping it in slightly. And one of the big things we don't want is them to tangle. Yep. And that's your control of that brake, making sure the back dogs don't catch the dogs in front of them. We need to command our dogs to where we want them to go. So we're talking to our lead dogs up there, telling them to hike, to go, ha yeah. to go left, hi, G ha, to right. G. Yep. Ha, G. That's it. And easy to slow them down. Easy. And that's basically it. We're going to, uh, yeah, hopefully you've got it all and you have a fun run. There's a lot of information to take in. <laughs> that, combined with the amount of noise from the dogs, was making me a little nervous. Ready, boss! Hike! Hike! Just like that, <laughs> we were off. 
I'm not exactly sure where we were heading or who exactly yeah. was in control. But gee, it was a lot of fun. Standing on the back of the sled, being pulled along by eight dogs, you could really feel the amount of power that these guys were producing. It's such a cool feeling. It's so, so different to anything I've done before. It's awesome. Being towed along by a group of eight dogs was never on my bucket list, but since doing it, I feel like it probably should have been. Conditions haven't been perfect today, but it's been so awesome to get out with these guys and, um, and learn a bit more about sled dogging and, and have a crack. And um, I'm stoked. My mouth actually still hurts from smiling. <laughs> easy, easy. Woo. Oh man. Thank you. That was awesome. <laughs> That's the last video for this uh, for this series. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun um, sharing some of these adventures and some of these things with you. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good winter.